our education system is so weighted in terms of text and math that we're really not focused at all on the visual or on the symbolic. The visual segment tends to get just sort of connected with art and then there's not art anymore. So what happens to it? There is, are absolutely skills that can be taught, that need to be taught, in the same way that we teach how to speak publicly, how to write an essay. And it's the same thing in terms of uh, visual communication. Well, I think it, it, it is really in a kind of, it shouldn't be restricted to the arts, and it should have, uh, should have a place in basically right across from math, science. What's interesting is how the process of education has taken people away from the image toward text to such a degree that people forget how to use their eyes for the complex reasoning that's possible. This lack of emphasis on sensory literacy within our education system is deeply unfortunate and therefore the more that we would work on it, the more we would find that we build those skills, for example, social skills, behavioral skills and communication skills, and they would help to, to build a, a more humane society. And language and text writing is a very good tool, but so is making pictures and making comic books and making film and making... Those are very good tools to reflect on ourselves and how we think. The more that those tools embrace the complexity that we are, I think the better we have of sort of understanding who we are and who we can be. And, and that ultimately is what education ought to be. This is not a nice extra. The core of an educational experience has always been and will always be communication. You can't teach science, can't teach history, can't teach math, can't go to law school, can't do all those things unless you can communicate. So let's look at where communication is evolving to and let's respond to it by thinking about what does it mean to be able to do that in a literate way.